so quick. Let this happen. We're not alone anymore, people. What do you owe the city? What's up? Why are you scared? Nothing. This is good. My what my take? Huh? I don't get to pick what? and choose when I'm spider. I'll tell you what. Come here. This is good. My take. My neighborhood. You can do this. You can do. I was wondering if you wanted me to correct your storytelling. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> that was probably the first time you realized that you love me. But that wasn't the first time we met my cute little baby. Okay, when was the first time? Somebody tell us. I just tweeted about it. I just told you when we okay, so when we pulled up to the Burbank Studios today, I was like, wait. I was like, we literally I was like, it's today, December 6th. This is the first time we met in this building on this day four years ago. See, every time I ask you how, how we met, you give me like a new, a new, a new time. No, it's not. That, the first time we ever met in person is that day. But the reason why we never talked about it previously is because we don't like to mention uh, the but in the other clip, you mentioned that you were with a girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't like to talk about all it. that shit. But he was not dating this girl. <laughs> I don't want to say too much about it because it was weird XQC as fuck. XQCL. But they weren't dating. And it wasn't Kim. I don't know why you guys keep saying that. That's so stupid. But Yeah, I, was, I wasn't dating. No, we, we, me and you met casually in the Overwatch... Um, the preseason game in like the stands. Yeah, I, I was you. there with other people, and then they were like, "Oh, this is XQC, XQC, this is that." They were like, "Hey, whatever." I had a boyfriend at the time. Did you? Yeah, I'm pretty sure he was there. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he was there. What? I and don't. So it was like nothing. It was just like, "Oh, hey, we're, I know you from Overwatch." <laughs> they were pretty bored to see me both, and then um, later on. New Year's Day again. So went to went to the vault. December sixth is the first time we met, but then New Year's was when he realized that he was gonna love me forever. And at then, the vault, right? Yeah, and then at the vault. No kidding. Like it, it, it was a club inside of a vault <laughs> that they that they that they redone and like um, redesigned at, in a club, and it was the most obnoxious music and people that have that have ever come across, and that's what I realized that. That's just how LA is, just really, really just trashy clubs and people. We actually talked about this a couple months ago. Um, there, we, we were like somewhere and he saw a dress and he was like, oh, this is like the dress that you wore that day. So that's how I know that that day, that, so just because that day stood out to you doesn't mean it was the day we first met. But Yeah, I but I, I knew you wore an upgrade though. <laughs> I mean, of course, but... Um, there's like a lot to the story. It's a very long story. I don't even think we'll ever get fully into it. But he he had you know. Okay. So, I mean, uh, because you know, I, I couldn't hold it anymore. Say ah, I have something. I'm like, like sitting right. I'm yeah, but level. please, please come into this story, please. <laughs> what else is there though? I was just correcting that that wasn't the first time we met. That's all. But it, uh, it's a very long story. I don't think we ever tell the whole thing. Yeah, and I went to karaoke. Oh yeah, that, okay. So when when did we go to karaoke though? Do you remember? Was it, bef it ha well? It had to be in January or February. A little bit, a little bit after. Yeah, I don't, I don't fucking know. But. No, no, no. We didn't meet for like a month or something. Yeah, we didn't see each other for a long time. We didn't even really talk, and then months had passed. And then you guys, you guys saw one of our first dates ever. I don't know if it was like our official first date. Cause our first, first date was free and barbecue. Hello, it ex go but smile. We did the zoo thing, which was like just basically our first date. Yeah. Yeah. It may actually, I think it may have been the same day. Yeah. You, yeah. You guys saw it. I and then with the karaoke it. and we sang a bunch of cool songs. No, not that day. Later on though. No, we, we sang karaoke way before. Okay. The ca the karaoke listen. <laughs> I didn't want to date Felix at all at first. 
I could tell that he was somewhat interested, and I didn't want to date him. At, that's why we didn't see each other Sammy, for a couple months. Sammy. No, he Sammy. thinks that I'm lying. Sammy, Sammy. No, because like he said, he when me and him met New Year's, he was with some Felix, other girl. You really messed up. And so not I was remembering like, correct. why would why would I want to be with this guy? Like he's a player. Like he could go, you know. Like I'm not gonna be one of his hoes. He could go fuck a billion other girls. Like I'm not gonna give it any of my attention, right? But then. When we did karaoke together, and then he came to my brother's house, and then we sat in the car and we talked for like five hours, and then I was like, okay, I guess he's like kind of cute. So it took a while to, to really convince me that you weren't just going to be some boy of the week. It took a while. I had to really believe it. Um, but what... What really got me is he started singing Dua Lipa. He had never heard the song before. And it's a song where it's like, uh, I, see, I see the I moon, moon, I see, I see the moon. moon. Oh, and you're looking at the sun. sun. And he was just reading the lyrics off the screen, but he was singing it perfectly in harmony with like how Dua Lipa sings the song. And it was really cute. And then we were singing a bunch of karaoke songs with the whole group. And then that's when, that's when I realized that I could give him a chance. Real and true. And then, and then, and then we went on the zoo date. And then, and then, I entered this new place, right? I was gonna get, but then they told me somebody had died in my new apartment. So they said, <laughs> uh, "We'll give you a new one." So they gave me a new apartment, and I went to the new apartment. And a couple, a couple, a couple weeks in, um, the police raided me. Yeah. And I had nowhere to go, so uh, I sent her a text, and she came pick me up. And then. Uh, well, yeah, the, fir the first time it happened, um, I immediately drove out to his apartment because I lived like 30 minutes away or some shit. I went to his apartment and I was like, is everything okay? You good? Blah, blah, blah. I actually helped him pick out almost everything for that apartment, too. I helped him get like just little utensils and shit so he could live. Um, and then uh, it happened again a week later or whatever. And then that's when I told them, I was like, Felix, I already, I already talked to my parents about it. Because by then we were pretty much dating. And I was like, Felix, I already talked to my... Oh, no, we were dating because he came to my house a couple times. He went to my parents... Okay. <laughs> he paid over $100. So this, this was the other part of the test, right? He paid, like, over $100 and went in the Uber for, like, over an hour... To get to my house, to my parents' house. Okay, it wasn't a hundred; it was like a hundred forty-one dollars for sure. Yeah, I said over a hundred. Okay. And so I was like, "Wow, if he's willing to really go through all that, then you know, obviously he's not just gonna be the boy of the week. Like he really means business." So <laughs> yeah, he says one forty-one, like he remembered. Um, and so I was like, "Okay," and then, and then, did I drive you home or did you Uber home? I think you Ubered home too. Yeah, I Ubered yeah, home the next Ubered day. Yeah, you Ubered home too. And then. Um, I fell asleep in the car, he woke me up when I got home. Yeah. And then, so a couple weeks had passed, the swatting stuff happened. So we were already dating by that point. And then I was like, Felix, my parents said you could just live with us. Like, you could have that whole part of the house right there. That's all you. Just, like, you know, whatever, you're, whatever you want to do, if you want to come live with us, you're good to live with us. And then. We've lived together ever since. We've never lived apart, really. So what was so cool about my apartment that you liked? Which one? The Glenda apartment. Come on, tell chat. <laughs> the apartment was dog shit. We didn't like anything about it. But what was one thing that you liked about the apartment that I had set up? Oh, the bed? Yeah, the bedding. We have never switched. Okay, so like we've switched it, but we have repeatedly bought the same bedding over and over and over again since that bed repeatedly because i i was on a team well full of players that for the first time they had actually a good paycheck and they didn't know what to, what to spend money on and they had found these websites where they got like really good bedding stuff like sheets and pillows and uh, uh pillow sheets and pillowcases they're like insane quality that weren't even that expensive but they were, they were, they were like <laughs> and then i just copied and then they bought i was like dude sh Sheesh, that shit is busting. And I had, I had this, um, I think it's um, bamboo sheets, uh, fucking uh, bed, bed, bedding. And it was busting. That thing was like you were like slipping on air, dude. It was crazy. Yeah. 
the the it was so soft and it was crazy because it wouldn't matter how cold or hot we were the bedding all of it was always the perfect temperature it was per you felt like you were sleeping like a fucking prince like a king it was so good so we've always bought the same shit and then who who tried out our bedding recently it was a streamer God, who was it? I don't, I don't remember it actually. Was... Oh, in Austin, maybe? Yeah, someone in Austin. It had to be like Chance. Yeah. And they were like, Chance. No, no, no. They almost insulted us. They were like, um. Who did that? I, I don't remember who it was. It's someone in Texas. Wait, why were they, why are they talking because shit? We gave them the fucking pleasure of like f touching and feeling our sheets. And then they were like, mm. and I was like, bitch, get your, get your fuck, get the fuck out of my, get out of here, get, go away. You know what I mean? Because like, we, we love this bedding set for like years. That is Actually, our don't. fave. Same, same mattress, same sheets, same uh, bedding material. All of it is the same, but. Easiest way, easiest way to get a, a girl to come back at least once a good bed set and a good mattress. Also, but I would also just like to point out that we had slept over with each other like maybe four times without, you know, sleeping with each other. So, you know, don't be afraid to hold out. You can still go over for the fancy bedding, but you don't even have to, you know, do all that. No, I'm serious because like even, even when he came to my house the first time and he went over, like... I wasn't allowed to have, I'm Mexican, I'm not allowed to have boys at my house. So he, just even the fact that he was allowed to live with me was like huge. But when he came over to the house the first time, we went to my room, but the door was open. I was like 23 years old. The door was still open. We didn't just go in the room and like hang out, like, you know, hook up. That door was fucking open like we're high schoolers, you know, so. I mean, even if we did though, that bed is a fucking creak machine. True. Yikes. <laughs> You just go sit it on it and it's like. like he was so scared and I was like, it's fine. Like, the door's open. You know, I'm not doing nothing. So, it was embarrassing as fuck though. That is that bit was terrible. Yeah. It was like this high too. Yeah. You had to like hop on it really and high. it was like. And then it, we had this same stupid fucking bed when you came to live with us. And at first, we would sleep in my room, right? Yeah. And then we slept in my nightmare. <laughs> but, so the way that I had my room set up for just me, I had the bed, and then I had the dresser literally right in front of the bed so that I could have my whole streaming set up. And he fucking hated it. Because every day, he would kick either the dresser or the edge of the bed. And he'd just fucking rage, and he'd be so mad for like ten minutes. Every day he would kick it in I the guess same spot. And he'd be so mad. It was really embarrassing. And then um, eventually we just uh, we took over his room as our room. We didn't use my room. That one was pretty bad too. Yeah. Well, that I, was. I mean, a, it was good. I mean, was I'm grateful room, to have a place to live. That was a room where he had the TV on the fucking ottoman and the cardboard box, and we slept like on a mattress. Like on a bed spring shit, so. Yeah, but see, chat. I always bought these like two hundred dollar mat, not like these like two K, four K mattresses. These mattresses on on Amazon that are like two hundred bucks. I come in like a, some tube or like they come rolled up. They're bussing. No, he's not. He's not saying like the room was treasured. It, the mattress was actually dog shit. Like my parents. I mean, they bought decent mattresses, but my dad would always go to, like, the liquidation center or something and be like, all right, what's your cheapest bed for my teenage kids or whatever? And that, that would be the one that we got, you know, springs, fucking whatever the hell. It didn't matter what the, the material was. As long as it was decent enough and cost the least amount, that's what we got. So that's what, you, that's what we slept on until we... Until we moved out, right? We never bought a new mattress. Why did we move out? I forgot. We when we moved out, the first place we went to was Canada. 
Because then I came back for a little bit alone, and then you went to Texas alone. Because I wasn't sure that I wanted to live in Texas. And, and, and I needed him to officially ask me to go live in Texas with him. Oh yeah, you were and, mad at me at the time. Yeah, though. so I was, I was not going to go live in Texas until he officially asked me to go live with him. So I was like, no, I'll, I'll live at my parents' house. Like, I don't give a fuck. I would still live at my parents' house to this day if he didn't, you know, make things right. So I went to my parents' house. He went to Texas. And then he finally, like, officially asked me to live with him. And then, so I, I went and I started living with him in Chance's house. And then oh, we, I forgot we lived there. Yeah, I forgot we, we lived, lived there in Chance's house. We lived there... We, we said we were going to be there for like a month tops, and then we were there for like four months. We said two weeks, and we were there for like three months, yeah. Yeah, and then we moved out, we got our own house, and then we moved back in, and then we moved out, and then we moved back in, <laughs> and then we came True. back to California. Yeah, but I mean, before, remember, remember we, we had to take the, the, the fucking pickup? And yet, you had to come drive me. You had to come oh get God. me for forty-five minutes, and we had to drive for minutes. It was like an hour and a half every day for like the pet for like fucking yeah for weeks. Yeah, I would have to drive my dad the. He had like a black crossover car, and that shit was falling apart at the seams. And I would have to every time we would hang out, I'd have to drive all the way here, pick him up, go all the way back to my parents because we hated this fucking apartment. For the most part. Yeah. Or, actually, at first, you were still living with the casters. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Oh, yeah, I remember yeah. that. And it was so cute because he would, like, he would be at the end of his stream, and then he'd be like, okay, are you downstairs? I'd be like, yeah, I'm downstairs. And then he'd end his stream and he'd go downstairs. But after, like, 12 hours of streaming. And then so we'd go to dinner, and then we had nowhere to hang out because we weren't going to hang out in their fucking house. So sometimes he'd go all the way to my parents' house, and I'd bring him all the way back. That was cute. Those were those were really quality times for sure. Yeah, but it's a lot of time wasted. I don't like wasting time. So traveling is it kind of annoys me. Sometimes I go to stream, I'd be fucking tired of shit. But I enjoy waking up early. At least I, at least I woke up at the time. Now I don't wake up anymore. Yeah. Which which is, which is it which is going to change? After this twenty four hour stream. See, you believe in me, right? Yeah, I do. Oh. Uh, <laughs> One of his favorite things to do, too, when I would bring him back in the morning, he'd be like, okay, I'm going to go start my stream right now, like right this second, and then what would you do? I'd go to McDonald's. <laughs> yeah. I would, I would get a large time, Coke. One time, I, I was like, it was like 8 in the morning, and I was like, okay, like I want some pancakes, you know, it's breakfast. And I was driving over to the McDonald's thinking that he's going to start a stream, and he's walking down the street. And he's like in his little uh, Dallas hoodie and his little sweatpants. And he's like in his phone like this and he's looking all around. And I'm just busting up laughing because I'm. it felt so weird like I was spying on him. Because I could just see him walking to McDonald's, getting his little food, walking back. Yeah. <laughs> it was really cute. But. Yeah, but that, I always go to McDonald's. I, 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 would get a, I wouldn't get the coffee, I'd get, I'd get the Coke instead. So every, every, every time after that day, I'd be like, do you want me to go take you to McDonald's before I take you home? And he's like... Yeah, <laughs> I'd go to McDonald's instead. He'd, he'd get the same breakfast like every day too. Yep, that's cute. Very cute. Well, thanks for precising in my um. Yeah, you guys, you still guys don't know the full story of how we met. It's a very long story. It's a lot of. It's shit. a lot of drama. It's a lot of shit that we don't like to talk about because some people just don't deserve to be mentioned. If I'm being quite honest with True. you, they're just not. They're just not good people. So, yeah, don't go too hard. I'm, I'm, not, I'm gonna end the stream. Or I'm, I'm gonna get fucking paragraphs. Like, I'm gonna get a fucking. I'm gonna there, get a book in the no mail. There's no point in us acknowledging that shit because. Uh, literally. It's just there's just not. So we don't talk about a lot of the stuff that happened back then. It's irrelevant. It's stupid, and it wasn't drama. It's not CX. Uh, that was a one-time thing. You guys can watch the video, and the context of the mm -hmm. whole video is there. That was sick, and, though. And we were. I see a lot of people are confused about that. If you think about the timeline that we just told you, we were not dating during that thing, during that at all. That was fun though. I, I, exactly. I enjoyed hanging out with them. That was we fine. That was cool. Time. And you guys heard what the context of the video, all of the thing was. So I get that, you know, 
the degeneracy around it. But oh my God, how dare people make content? Jesus Christ. Yeah, I get the the degeneracy. Like you know, it doesn't matter what we say. That you guys are still manipulated to whatever. If you're part of that degeneracy, that's fine. But what I'm talking about is other things that, like other people that we used to hang out with when we first knew each other or whatever. It's a long story of how we fully met and everything that happened at the beginning. So. Just kind of think. Maybe one day in a few years we'll share it with you guys, but it's been a long time. Long. Time. Maybe it's in some podcast or some shit. Yeah, maybe in a podcast. We'll save it. Maybe on the official podcast, starting in theaters in in um, in um, in January, live from the comfort of your homes. You could watch me and one invitee, special worldwide guest, insane in a live interview exclusive to you on Twitch now for free. Okay. Well, that was my really long extra story time, but only because. He kind of kept asking me questions. I was just correcting the baby. But okay. Love you. We love you. Good night. Bye. Okay. A real exclusive. It arrived.